Welcome friends. Hello. I am going to chat with you really quick while I get ready. Sorry if you wiggle. I'll be careful. Um, I just wanted to chat with you really quick about our fourth. I didn't really film afterward. It was late. Um, and then I'll tell you what we're doing today. Not major plans. It's actually the 6th of July, correct? Yeah. We filmed that Coke video yesterday, so you'll have already seen that. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the 4th of July and the experience that we had. Maybe it's more just for my own memory, I guess. So growing up kind of goes back to like my childhood. Growing up, we had the 4th of July, we had fireworks at our stadium at the university where Jason and I met at Utah State. And they would have a complete choreographed program. Everything from like ground floor presentations, performers. Now they do like concerts and like you name it. And I'm sure it's maybe the same in places where you live. But I grew up having that and the, the fireworks were choreographed to music. Like they'd be on point to like the beat and to the song and like actual stars in, in fireworks during a part of the song that said the word stars. Like the company that I that did it was just amazing. I, I grew up knowing them. They were leaders in our church and they just were fantastic. That's what I grew up with and that's what I kind of have always based 4th of July off of, unfortunately. So moving here to Seattle 20 years ago, we did not have that like at all in another city they do them but it's nothing you just sit in the park and you get fireworks and so it's always been a little disappointing to me to not have that same thing for my kids we used to take them to that fireworks show in utah sorry i'm just going to do my makeup while you guys are chatting with me we would go but it just got too hard and then my family stopped going inside the stadium they would just sit on the lawn outside and so we stopped going for the fourth because i wanted to be inside the stadium Anyway, I tell you that because I've always had fun on the 4th of July here. We've had um, good experiences and good friends and had a good time, but it was never anywhere even close to what I grew up having. And that was always hard for me. And I knew that I just had to kind of get over that perception of being able to have that. I've always had a really hard time with that. So this year when our friends invited us to go to their lake, so their HOA puts on the firework show and they hire professionals that's the only way you can do it now you have to have a, a professional team to do your firework display but they have music playing and patriotic music and all the songs that i grew up not all the songs that i grew up listening to but a lot of them that i grew up having at a firework show and i got to the end of sorry it's been a really busy um morning i've been on the phone and texting and marco polo and my sisters and trying to plan this trip to Utah. Anyway, so at this fireworks show, they actually had music playing and the fireworks and they weren't choreographed at all, but it was a fantastic performance. Like they just did a ton of fireworks. Like it just kept going and going and going. And I just kept filming and I ended up not using half the footage. Like I, there's a ton of fireworks show that I put in this, in the video from yesterday, but, or I guess it was from last week, but you guys didn't even see even a fraction of it. And I got to the end of it and you know the finale is always great no matter what fireworks show you go to they always put a ton into the fireworks the, or the grand finale right and i got to the end of the grand finale and it, part of it is the song that was playing and the whole you know you know you get all the feels when you listen to the patriotic songs and you'll watch fireworks or whatever maybe you're not like me and maybe, i don't know that's just me i get all the feels but I got to the end of this one and I was, I realized I was just sobbing. And luckily I had taken my makeup off, but I was just bawling. Tears streaming down my face, crying, almost like kind of catching my breath. I was crying so much and no one really noticed because it was dark and it was noisy and the music is playing and the fireworks are booming. But Jason looked over at the end and he saw that I was just wiping away my tears. And he was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you crying? And it was just, it was a moment of grief, but also like a, a moment of happiness, like that, like of my mom and, and also the fourth, but it was this memory that my mom gave us that she put forth that effort to give us those memories and those traditions and that those events every single year of being able to watch those fireworks. And it was just for the first time, ironically, this year, now that she's gone, to be able to have that, even just a fraction of what I felt growing up. Should have done this before my makeup. 
I just, I gave my friend a hug and my other friend has lost her father and so she understood why I was crying and it was just so emotional to me. It was just so overwhelming and so powerful that I got to have that experience this year and it's just, it seems silly um, that it was fireworks, but it was all the feels and I was grateful that I was there with good friends that we were invited to come and get to experience that and start a new tradition hopefully. <laughs> we can go back again next year because it was everything I've always wanted for the past 20 years. It was everything I've wanted for a 4th of July and I just was grateful that I got it. And maybe that seems silly, maybe, um, but maybe some of you understand tradition. Maybe under some of you understand like what those family moments mean and like they don't have to be the exact same every year, but to have tradition is so important to me, like beyond important to me. They don't have to be the same traditions that I had growing up as long as they're traditions that I can do within my, my family with my girls. This is a tradition that we can do going forward because one, we're best friends with the, <laughs> the friends that we went with and our kids all get along and um, have gotten along for 12 years since we met them and um, I can just see this being something that we get to do going forward and I'm so grateful for that. I'm absolutely grateful that we were able to have that kind of an experience. I really, really needed it. And it, I was kind of feeling sad the day before because my family did their 4th of July on the 3rd. I've already explained that. <laughs> you know, they do it on Saturday in Utah when it's on... The, anyway, I already explained that. So I was kind of feeling kind of sad that I hadn't been there for their 4th of July. And so I was really glad that I got to have our new experience and our new tradition. Um, and I hope that we can continue that in a, you know, in a new way here. That's my, my uh, follow-up to the 4th of July. Maybe you can let me know what your traditions are, whether it's with the 4th of July or what traditions mean to you within your family or if you're able to have them. Um, you can leave a comment below. Um, okay, so today I've been editing that video, the 4th of July. It's taken me a long time just because there's um, when there's music playing, I have to edit all the music out, but I want to hear all the booms and pops and crackles with the fireworks, and so that takes a lot of editing. Um, and so it's taking me a long time. But come here, Ashley, um, a little overkill because I wasn't paying attention. I was watching the camera too much. Um, she is bored. Why are you bored, Ashley? Because all my friends are going to like doing something or yeah. going to rent. So we get to a point, yeah, we, we get to a point in summertime where we all start to go on vacation at different times and they're not coordinated <laughs> with each other. You know, by all means, we coordinate, you know, our vacations with our friends, not only that with our friend, family, but we get to a point where we don't have friends to hang out with and we get really, really bored. And Chelsea is sick today. Chelsea has a cold. She, Kaylee had a, the same cold last week. Um, and I know it's not the C word. I know it's not Corona, but I feel bad that she doesn't feel well. And I'm gonna go to Target with Ashley to get Chelsea some daytime cold medicine for kids. And she already got cough drops. So I'm gonna go get her some regular kids medicine. And we're gonna get our car snacks for our road trip. We're still a couple days out from going on a road trip. I would rather just get those and not have to worry about it because I don't have to go to the store again. Like, I don't have to buy groceries because we gotta use up the rest of our fresh groceries before we head out of town. Ashley is going to be my buddy, and then maybe we'll, she wanted to get lunch yesterday, or dinner last night, right Ashley? Yeah. Oh, I think I need to go count your shorts. Go clean your room really fast, I Ashley. Huh? There's only just a few things. Like okay, then look at your, go count how many shorts are hung up. Go. There's plenty. She wants shorts because Chelsea just got some. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, go look. Maybe you're grown. Maybe you've grown. Barely any. Barely any. Not even kidding. We'll be back. Okay, little squirt back there is ready to go with me. We found four pairs of shorts. I'm not convinced that's all there is, but that's all the laundry there was and all that she had in her closet. So, that, I don't know. I don't know where all the other ones went. But maybe she is growing out of them. Because um, these ones that I'm wearing, I have another pair that is the, is smaller than these, and they, I can't wear those. You can't wear them anymore? I know, so I don't know if I'm growing out of them. 
I know. So, for our trip, we're gonna be gone for 10 days. I can do laundry any day. It, it would be annoying to only have four pairs. And when we're there, she wears her shorts hardcore. The kids play hardcore. <laughs> kind of a, it just sucks because we only have like a month and a half. A month by the time we get home from this trip and we can deal with her not having more than four pairs of shorts. And Ashley, you're just gonna have to get a pair, I think, that are a little bit big so that they can work for next year because the shorts she does have, I could totally get rid of those and not wear those next summer because I don't think they'll fit her for next summer. So I'd much rather just have new shorts for now, you know, have to get new ones all next year. <sighs> I just hate buying stuff halfway through the season. I feel like it's almost a waste. Okay, we're at Target. We're picking out our snacks. And I see this sign here for the Skittles gummies, which is like a new thing that actually looks really good. But if you look at the sign, they're $1.99 each or two for five. So would you like to pay more if you buy two of them? But actually when you read this, the fine print right here, it's for these guys over here. So this thing right here needs to go right there. <laughs> Skittles are $1.99 and the Smart Sweets are two for five, which makes more sense if they're $2.79 each individually. <laughs> it's like, why would I pay more if I bought more? Anyway, that was silly. Ooh, see, I need to get these when I go to Utah. These look really good, but I like, I like the cinnamon bears ones. Yeah. And you couldn't eat them because you braced braces. I know, so I'm gonna get some when we get to Utah. I don't want just regular gummies. I want like cinnamon bears. You guys, look at this terrarium. Look at my hand, look how big this is. So cute. So I think this, back up Ashley. Look at this, and then this ball thing. Let me pull it out so you can see. Take the ball off the top to get everything in there. So stinking cute. I just think this is totally up Kaylee's alley. I just can't keep the plants alive, so I have to rely on her. <laughs> We're looking at backpacks, even though a certain someone does not actually yeah, need a backpack. I don't need one. You're using Chelsea's cactus one, Yeah. right? Because she would have used it. Yeah, she didn't use it last year, but there are lots of cute ones. I can see you wanting that unicorn one. No? no? What about that doggy one? Rainbow. No? I want to make a llama. The rainbow? To, I want a llama one to match my own. Um, Your lunch bag? Yeah. Yeah, she has a lunch bag coming in the mail. Coming, It's going to go to Grandpa's house. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so I had to order a bunch of swimsuits and goggles um, from two different websites, Amazon and then another website, and they weren't going to get shipped in time for this trip that we're going to take, and so I shipped them to my dad's house. <laughs> There's a lot of packages going to my dad's house. But one of them has her lunch box in it. Yeah. It was like a weird swimsuit. Like, I don't even know, it was like a company, I can't remember what company I got it from. Um, oh, I got it from um, Shein.com. Oh, yeah. And they had lunch boxes. So I got her cute cactus, is it cactus or llamas? Or llamas. Llamas. So we'll have to show you that when we, maybe we'll do a little mini haul when we get to Grandpa's house. I actually ordered my fins for <laughs> our trip to Hawaii. It just happened to be in the same order, so. We'll have fins, but we don't need them in Utah. Not even at the lake. I don't even, I don't want to snorkel. I don't want to know what's in that water. <laughs> All right, so graphing notebooks are actually really difficult to find. I actually only find them one time a year at the Office Depot. And so we found this one, and it has the graphing paper in the front. Then there's a divider right there with pockets. And then there's lined paper. So it's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect for Abby. So Abby is in advanced math, or was in advanced math in middle school. So she's already advanced into geometry as a freshman. And so this is going to work perfectly. I'm not really one to buy the school supplies. Actually before, a long time ago, I was keen on buying school supplies this early in the summer. Mm -hmm. But I don't have to stock up quite as much as I used to. So I already kind of know the key things like the binders that Chelsea needs for middle school and her backpack. I know I'm probably going to get those at Costco, but that notebook, those graphing paper notebooks, they are so hard to find. So I'm going to get that now. And then I think I'm going to keep an eye out at Costco for the backpack for Chelsea because she needs a really, they have to be really big and really durable. 
Kaylee and, his, and Abby's have lasted, they last to Abby all through middle school, but really she only did a year and a half in middle school in person. Um, but they're pretty worn out. You're not getting this. You're not getting it. If you had uh, 12 dollars you could. You can, Ashley, you can do these shapes all on your own, Goober. You have this stuff, correct? No, don't. Is it all gone? What? You used to. That sticky, this sticky stuff. Yeah, but and then. But you can make your own yeah. pictures and make your own yeah, designs. I have two different okay, yeah, you don't need counting cards, silly yeah, I girl. Want huge counting cards. You just want these. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, you're not getting it, <laughs> so. We didn't really have a time schedule, so we were able to just kind of look and have fun with it. Why isn't this turning on? I need air now. I think we're gonna go get some lunch really quick. You probably want a kid's meal, correct? She's hot. That was really fun. I think we talked about everything that I got that was different. I got shampoo and conditioner uh, for my dad's bathrooms at when I go home. It's hard because like it's just not something that they think to stock the bathrooms up with and we go through so much shampoo and conditioner when we're there that it's worth just having it and then if we have any extras I'll bring it home uh, and especially when you drive we can totally do that what else did we buy Ashley got your shorts yeah. I tried on a pair of shorts I did not like them what else did we get q-tips yeah we got q-tips road snacks and road snacks oh and Chelsea's medicine yeah. and Abby's medicine and, and a notebook. Oh, notebook for Abby. So I will start looking for some school supplies, but I've already told her she's gonna sharpen her pe her colored pencils yeah. and take them that way, because we already have a million colored pencils. And pencils. And regular pencils, yes. And they have I have like probably 10 pairs of kids' scissors. We don't need to buy kids' scissors. Or notebooks. Yeah, notebooks probably not, but I don't, they don't have their school lists posted yet. They probably are a couple weeks away from doing that. But there are certain things that I know, like I know that Chelsea will need her big backpack and her big binder for middle school. I just, I know that already. So I'm just gonna start watching out for them. I think I have a credit at um, Office Depot with Jason's like business account. And so I think I'm gonna try and get the binder there and the backpack I'll get from Costco as soon as they have them. So, I think it's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so the problem with editing days is <laughs> I can go hours without filming anything in between and then I don't have much to add for the day. I've been editing the 4th of July video and then I stopped and got dinner ready and then took Abby to an activity for church and now I'm, and then I edited it in between and now I'm headed back to go and get her. <laughs> So I am actually gonna probably try and work on the computer for a few more hours, at least an hour or two tonight. It's already eight o'clock, but I need to finish this video that I'm working on and have that completely caught up and maybe even start on today's video because tomorrow I need to pack. I need to really like start to wrap my head around that. The girls wanted to start packing today and it just, I get overwhelmed when it's kind of outside of the normal, my little routine of how I pack. I like to clean the house. I like to have everything washed and dried and put away where they should be. And then I pack so that we don't be like, oh, I'm missing my shirt or I'm missing this because it's in the laundry. No, well, just give me it. You know what I mean? I like to have everything in its place first and then I pack. And they wanted to pack their bags today and they were like, where's all our laundry? And I'm like, it's in the laundry. That's why you don't pack before you have your laundry done. So it was causing me some stress, some inner anxiety, I should say. And um, I told them to just hold off for a bit and I will start up with that tomorrow. But in order to like fully wrap my head around that, I need to have the computer stuff done. 
So that's kind of my plan. Abby went to this activity at the church tonight and they, well they went to someone's house, but they are making cream puffs. So hopefully, I mean she could have learned how to make cream puffs anytime. She would have been really good at it. But I kind of hope she kind of has a new little uh, baking recipe that she will be inspired to make on a regular basis because if there's one thing that is Jason's favorite and mine too I would probably eat them shouldn't eat them but I would probably eat them each time she makes them I do not eat the brownies I would say only about 5% of the time do I eat her brownies and she makes them at least once a week um, I rarely eat brownies um, it's not that I don't like them. I just limit I'm trying extra hard to limit my sugar intake and if I Not I, I don't know. I'm like a weird timing issue like when I eat snacks Like I like popcorn because you can eat it for an extended amount of time while I watch a show and enjoy a snack for longer and that partially like makes you eat a little bit less because you take more time to fill up. Oh, there's a ducky in the road. Can you see it? Right? Oh, that poor ducky. Oh my goodness. Oh, that poor duck right there. Oh, that was like a little baby duck. It was not an adult duck and everyone is like zooming by. Like there's four lanes right here and they're just zooming past this duck. So I kind of just stopped in the middle of the road. I was like, don't hit the duck. Anyway, he made it across. Poor thing. But I'm going to go get Abby now. I'll put the camera down. All right. So Abby made these cream puffs. They were the last one to get theirs put in the oven. So they kind of collapsed and then the cream <laughs> like melted all over. You can see it on the plate right there. But they're super good. And what do you want to, are you going to share these with dad, Abby? Yeah. What do you want to bet he just downs those in like three seconds flat? Probably will. Right? Yeah. An ice cream bar. You went ate an ice cream bar? Where'd you get an ice cream bar? It's one buried in the bottom of the fridge. Yeah. Was it an ice cream sandwich? Yeah, it was all squished. Yeah, oh, melted. That was, that was from the freezer. the freezer. And it's probably been there for like a couple <laughs> years. <laughs> I, I feel a little... Yeah. It's a little rich. Yeah. I, I, it was in the back of the fridge when it defrosted. Well, I don't feel super good. Otherwise, I would jump on those things. Like I know. That. I was like, how fast is he going to eat these? I'm very surprised you're not eating them. If it wasn't for that, I would totally jump on them. Abby's a good cook. She's a good cook. I know. I just, oh, too bad. I, I wish I... Right I thought maybe we, we threw it away. All right. So, sorry, Jace. Hopefully he doesn't get sick tomorrow. <laughs> Are you just working? Hey, why didn't you guys throw it out? I sent it inside for, I don't know, I just, I didn't know she would put it in the freezer. So, sorry. It's, it's just my lack of self-control. I just, I <laughs> ate it and now I'm feeling like, uh... Yeah, sorry. So I didn't really um, discuss what happened, what he's talking about, but our freezer melted let me show you so if this evidence down on the ground isn't an indicator that something melted that is blueberry juice this is our crappy fridge that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't and the sometimes doesn't is what happened today and it's the first time in probably seven years that it kind of stopped working that is blueberry juice all down there and we lost everything that was in there. Not a single thing left, and it's really gross and dirty. So, there's no rhyme or reason to what's gonna make it not work. Hang on one second, let me get in the light. Like I said, I've, met, I've said it many times, like sometimes the freezer will work, or the fridge will work, and sometimes it will freeze. You don't know when it's gonna do that. Let me turn this off. Goodness sakes, user friendly here. Um, but like I said, the freezer hasn't given out in years. It has done fine. But I was at Target when Abby called me and she was, or FaceTimed me and she's like, what the heck is wrong with the freezer? Everything is melted. We have bags of frozen blueberries in there from blueberry picking from years ago and they work good in smoothies and we just kind of work our way through them. 
and then I think there was some applesauce in there and there was it needed to be thrown away honestly because it was the batch that I made in the crock pot before I was doing it in jars and so it was a freezer batch and I just think it was fine for that to go but <laughs> she saved the lasagna that we had for dinner tonight she put that and it wasn't even like soft at all she put that in the freezer here in the house and then we had that for dinner and then the only thing left in there was the turkey I think I've mentioned the turkey before I don't know where I got the turkey and why we haven't eaten it but it's still in there and I like touched it and it actually like left like a little finger mark and I was like oh no no this turkey is going bye bye the problem is when we go on vacation it's before our next garbage day <laughs> We have to like, I have to be on, all right, Kaylee's friend, probably Evelyn, is going to be the one to take the garbage out. I'm like, you have to take this garbage out. Otherwise, we're going to have some nasty turkey meat. Like, oh, it's going to be so bad in the heat if she doesn't take that garbage out. So, hopefully she does. But I'm going to end this video because I'm, like I said, going to hop back on the computer. Clearly, Jason has the TV here. The kids probably have the TV upstairs. And I'm going to edit and call it a night. Thank you for joining me. It was really fun to go and um, be with Ashley and kind of have some alone time. And the ironic thing is that we get home and we start making dinner tonight. And she was like, I thought you were going to go take me out to dinner. And I was like, I did take you out to lunch. That was what that was. You wanted to go and eat out. So that's what that was. And she's like, oh, I should have chose Red Robin. <laughs> I thought we were going there for dinner. And I was like, oh, girl, I'm not going back to Red Robin for a long time. A long time they need to hire staff they need to have regular hours and like I'm done with it for a while it will probably be the rest of the summer before I go back there so anyway take care hope you guys are doing well where you're at and having fun on your vacations or planning vacations or any of that kind of stuff take care and have a good night